Hey folks, I wanted, to, I wanted to do a video on how to program a traffic light with pedestrian walk option, but um, I decided to start with a simple traffic light program first. Both videos will be based on the Learning Pits PLC simulator, which mimics RS Logics 500. In this video, I will focus on simple traffic light program. Although there are many ways to program any given project, as a PLC programmer, you may be given a set of requirements on how to program. This allows for easier maintenance and troubleshooting. My task is to not only control a two-way traffic light, but to do it utilizing a single timer and word comparison instructions. Green for each side is 8 seconds, while amber is 4 seconds. There's also a 1 second delay uh, for the green light after the other side turns red. And note that the timing diagram only shows one of the one second intervals, but we have two. So that means 8 plus 4 is 12 seconds, uh, plus 1 is 13 seconds, so we, we have a 26 second cycle. For this exercise, we have six digital outputs and no inputs. To provide a meaningful description, I decide to name one side EW for east-west and the other side NS for north-south. Because I don't have any inputs, going from one step to the other is solely based on time. Timer starts with north-south green and east-west red and that is true for 8 seconds after 8 seconds north-south goes from green to amber and that is true for 4 seconds after that north-south north -south goes from amber to red and that remains true for a single second after that east-west goes from red to green and that remains true for 8 seconds. After that, east-west goes from green to amber and that remains true for 4 seconds. After that, east-west goes from amber to red and that remains true for a single second. And then, after step 6, we're back to step 1 and we have this continuous cycle. Note that the full cycle takes 26 seconds. For the simulator, our timer base is 0.1. Thus, we must multiply 26 by 10 to get uh, 260 for our preset value in the timer. To get the timer to cycle continuously, I will use an XIO instruction on timer's done bit. I will use a limit instruction to turn the lights on and off. Note that the red lights need to be on for 14 seconds. Based on how I chose my cycle, east-west uh, red light will require two separate limits instructions, while the north-south red light only requires one limit instruction. So if we start from the beginning, we're at uh, zero seconds uh, for eight seconds, north-south uh, will be green, and then we can see that uh, east-west will be red, not only from zero to eight seconds, but all the way up to the 13th second. After eight seconds, north-south will go to amber, and that will remain true for 4 seconds. After that, north-south will go to red, and that will remain true for 14 seconds. So from 0 to 13 seconds, east-west is red. After the 13th second, east-west goes green, and that remains true for 8 seconds. And after that, east-west 
uh, goes to amber and that remains true for four seconds and after amber east west has to be uh, has to go to red and it should go to red for 14 seconds so here's the first second the first limit and then here's the, the next 13 seconds for a total of 14 seconds. And that is the end of the program and I will leave the testing up to you.